Okay, folks, so this is an authentic sheep herder wagon, uh, and this one uh, belongs to a neighbor of mine, and it was built by his grandfather back in the 1950s, uh, and he, he used it uh, for many years up in the mountains. He would take his uh, herd of sheep up in the mountains, and then he would stay for two or three months uh, just living in this shepherd wagon. And while he took care of his sheep, moving them from grazing area to grazing area when it was free free range grazing. And we still do that in this area. Now, this is built on uh, what they call a hay wagon frame, uh, which has four wheels where I'm building on a two wheel trader. This has four wheels because it was a lot heavier construction. They didn't have traders like we had back then. They had to pretty much make their own traders. And this was designed to be pulled by horses. So it has a tongue out here and then they would have uh, horse harnesses for towing these up in the mountains with their horses and moving around or they could move them with a truck or they could move them with a uh, tractor back then but usually they were hauled by horses now this is a very simple design as you can see uh, it, it just kind of has sort of a rounded top they weren't completely rounded they actually used an octagonal type shape and then they would uh, roof these with roofing tin and they even did the front and backs with roofing tin. And you can see that they go up and over the trailer. And then you can sort of see in the picture here, you can see a uh, a box. It's kind of in the shadows here, but you can kind of see a box, uh, which was used for storage for their tools and stuff like that. And I've actually been inside this because they uh, had it on display at a restaurant. And I got inside and looked around all, all the inside. It had a big old wood stove, huge wood stove, probably larger than you would ever need in a place like this. But you can see the wood stove, uh, stove pipe sticking up above it there. A real narrow door, and then it had a bed on the end. And it just had some uh, basic cabinets uh, for storing your food stuff. And they mostly cooked outside. Or in the wintertime, they might cook in the you know, on top of the wood stove, but they would probably have a campfire and cookout style. And so that's how they got the name of these as a wagon. And these were used by sheep herders and then eventually became the uh, Gypsy Vardos. Now, this is my trailer that I'm going to be using. And I got this trailer, oh, about 10 years ago, I think. And uh, I got it from a guy. He was moving, and he'd been using it to haul his... Uh, ATVs and snowmobiles and it's a heavy-duty trailer even though it's on 12 inch wheels the sides are steel It's got steel sides on it, and it's 5 by 8 trailer now. Okay, folks so this is my shepherd wagon design and uh, This is based on the 5 by 8 uh, Lowe's or Home Depot trailer now my trailer is a bit different than this because it's got higher sidewalls so I'm gonna have to modify my plans and your trailer may be size too, so just keep that in mind as you're uh, going through this, that you may need to modify it for this type of trailer that you are using. Now, I uh, designed this a little bit differently than the uh, the old style Vardo or Shepherd Wagon in that I use what they call a barn style roof. This is much easier to build than a round style roof. Now, this is designed to be built out of uh, plywood or you can use other materials. I'm going to be building mine out of half inch plywood and you can see that this has a really it ha just has a really nice shape to it uh, I like this old style shape and I show it here with a double dutch door which is a door that's split in the middle so the top can be opened up with a window in it and the bottom can be left closed uh, I have designed it here with what they call chuck boxes which is these boxes that are on the sides here so that you can store your tools and stuff like on it okay so this uses 2x3 or 2x4 construction for the framing and plywood or whatever material you want for the exterior. So here you can see the roof framing uh, which is just a, a very simple octagonal type uh, barn roof style and what I did is I box in the, the uh, top of the roof framing and the, the uh, walls I get, again are plywood and uh, or whatever material that you want to use plywood is probably best and I'm using half inch plywood and then you can see that it has framing members that go across and the the ends that go up over the wall are framed in and boxed and these uh, the sides because of the way that the front is cut and it is attached to the floor all of the side panels side wall panels are attached directly to the floor framing so that it's all one unit and then tied together and because these are all solid uh, plywood panels here they support the side so you don't have to worry about these sides sagging which is one of the problems I've seen with other Vardo designs okay and here you can see 
how I plan on doing the interior of this. And this is just for ideas, but uh, what I would like to have in my uh, shepherd wagon is a dry sink, which is a sink without a drain. You simply put in one of those tubs, a wash tub. You drop that in there, fill that up with water for washing dishes or whatever. And I'm going to use my, I'm going to use a lot of the equipment that I use in my cabin that is designed for 12 volt. I have an Alpacool refrigerator that will slide right under a unit like this. And then I've got a little uh, wardrobe with a couple of uh, open cabinets and drawers. Now this is all coming down the road. I won't do this right away. But this is my plans for this shepherd wagon. So I can use it to, for uh, camping and also if somebody wants to, to use it as a guest room, when they come over they can stay at my uh, cabin and I'll have a really nice place for a guest room. And uh, so I show this with a desk, uh, but it, instead of a desk I'm probably going to put in that, a small wood stove right here and uh, a, probably a shorter, maybe a shorter pantry cabinet here. And then I show this with a nice fancy uh, over the top Vardo style rounded opening uh, over this three foot bed. Now I probably won't do that in mine but you can see that's a really nice feature. Uh, you can put curtains in front of this and give it that Vardo style and I show this with a twin bed where I'm going with a cot mattress bed which will actually give me more room. It's about 10 inches narrower. It will give me more room in here. Uh, what I'd like you to do today uh, is go to my website simplesolarhomesteading.com Click on that top link for the Shepherd Wagon and download some free plans. That way, as I'm building this, you'll be able to follow along with the plans. And again, this is a unit that can be built on a trailer or off of a trailer. And the plans show you how to build it either way. All right, folks, I hope this is enough uh, uh, to get you thrilled and excited to watch this project as I build it over the, the next few weeks. And uh, please do subscribe and like my channel. And uh, go to my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. All kinds of cabin plans and cabins that have been built by uh, clients on there that you might enjoy. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.